Before you start on any business cards, be sure that uh, you have in mind that all the colors you're going to be working with are going to be CMYK. Okay, so CMYK is essential for printing. It's going to bring out the most vibrant colors. You can easily go up to a color up here, just highlight over it, and it will tell you if it's RGB or if it's CMYK. And uh, so this section over here is what I would be working with on business cards because it's gonna be printing. However, if I have a picture like this one I'm importing right now, um, I got this from Google, so all of this will be RGB. And you could tell by getting the eyedropper tool, see it's all RGB. So if I'm matching the color to a JPEG, that's the only exception to do RGB colors. Now, if you have, if you don't have a JPEG and you're creating everything from scratch for the most part, use CMYK. It's going to make your cards a lot more vibrant. First things first, you want to make sure that your canvas is set to the business card size. The standard business card size is going to be two by three and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and make an example business card and set it up for production. So first I'm going to drag in a random background that I got from Google. So here's a colorful background and we're going to scale it to the business card size. I'm actually going to put a square around the business card and power clip this background into the business card. There we go. And let's put some text. Okay, so we have our business card and let's say we send a proof to a client, they approve it. Now we're going to set it up for production. So first things first, you're going to want to import the crop marks or make them yourself. Um, we have folders. If you go to templates, it is going to be in business card crop marks right here. And we just import that just like that. Now, if I group this together and then press P and ungroup it, uh, this blue line right here, this is the safe box, okay? So you want all of your text, all of your important information to be within this blue line. And once you see that everything's in there, you can go ahead and delete that. So now we have the background. It's important to know that when setting up for production, you set up bleeds because uh, these red lines right here, if I grab a guideline, this is where the machine is going to cut and sometimes it might cut a little bit over and sometimes it might cut a little bit under regardless this is the general area and if you don't have a bleed set up say it cuts a little bit over you're going to see some white on some of the business cards and it's just going to look really bad so what we do is we set up a bleed so let's bring this down um, we're going to extract this this background right here and we're actually going to power clip it into the back, the other background. So right here, we don't need this box anymore. And so this background is where the bleed needs to extend to. So let's edit this and let's go ahead and expand this to the top just like that. And we finish it. And now the bleed is perfectly set up. Okay, we can get rid of that outline right there. And uh, I like to go ahead and make my canvas four by two and a half just like that. And now we export this as a PDF. Whenever we're sending files in PDF formats to different companies, we want to make sure the font is converted to curve. So it's no longer recognized as font, but rather shapes and symbols. So this is Gotham. If we convert it to curves, now it's just a bunch of symbols. And so uh, that's because if you send this to a company they may not have the font in their computer so it won't recognize that and it will default to something like Arial, and it will just throw off your whole design so be sure to convert everything to curves and then send the file or then pdf it and then send the file so from here we're going to highlight everything go to export and let's just put it put it in here we're going to go to PDF, selected only, export. Then this is gonna come off. You don't need to do any settings in here. Just press okay. And then the PDF is saved. And uh, you could double check that if you like, if you just go back to where you actually exported the PDF at. So it's gonna be right here, this untitled one. Boom. And that is the PDF. 
And so this would be the file you go ahead and send to the company to produce the business cards. Okay, I have another example for you. Uh, we have a, another standard business card with two of the same phone numbers and a random company name right here. Then we, it's set up at three and a half by two. And let's say the company approves this. Now we're gonna go ahead and set it up for a bleed. So we're gonna go to import. Then let's go to templates and business card crop marks right here. Let's import the crop marks. We're gonna press P. And then we're gonna make sure that everything is within these blue lines. It is. So we're gonna go ahead and delete the blue lines. Then we're gonna delete. Uh, then we're gonna move this back because anytime I try to select this box right here, it selects this part because it's on top. So I'm sending it to the very back. And uh, we can go ahead and delete this square right here. We don't need that square on the original business card size. Uh, we just need this back square. And we're gonna go ahead and extend both of these, uh, this gray and black block. We're gonna extend it out and extend the gray down. There we go. So that sets up the bleed for the most part. And let's, let's make our canvas fit the size. There we go, everything's confined in our canvas now, and it's set up for bleed. We don't even need this outline either. And there we go, and then we would convert everything to curves, and then export it as a PDF, and that is how you set up the bleed.